Yeah, it's back to school now and you're probably wondering which pens should you buy to fill your pencil case. I'm going to test out two pens. This is the Lamy Safari and this is the Lamy Studio Pen. Let's just see how they look and I want you to let me know in the comments which one you think is better. This is the Lamy Safari and it costs somewhere in between sort of 10 and 20 pounds. This is the ballpoint variation but you can also buy the fountain pen version as well. This pen is the Lamy Studio. And it's a fountain pen, it came with blue but I replaced it with black ink and these ones cost somewhere around 30 to 40 pounds. So is this one a lot nicer writing experience than the Lamy Safari? Well, I absolutely love both of these pens, I must admit. And this is the pen that lives on my desk at home and this is the pen that comes with me in a pencil case. Because if I lose the Safari, I'm a lot less upset than if I lose the lovely Lamy Studio that my wife bought me. And I would suggest that either of these pens are not pens that you want to be lending to people. So stick around for the next pen review video and I'm going to show you the type of pen that you want to have loads of in your pencil case in case you want to lend them out to your friends. I love writing with a fountain pen but it's so involved that it's almost distracting. It's almost like you're thinking about the pen more than you think about the words and I misspell words more often with it. But maybe that's because I'm not so used to it. The Studio Pen is heavy and the Safari is a lot lighter. That makes it quite a lot more comfortable to be honest. There is a Safari fountain pen and that's a pleasure to use for you know, less money. And fountain pens are, I think they're a pleasure to use for less frequent tasks. So I wouldn't want a fountain pen for absolutely everything. interested in Lamy I suggest the Safari is the main pen for all your work really it's all day and it's light and it's really comfortable the studio is an absolutely lovely pen to pick up for those small tasks just maybe for signing a document writing a quick card it's a really attractive pen and when you're used to it which I'm not really used to it you can leave a beautiful bit of text on anything I really like the Lamy Safaris because you can get them in all different types of colours. I would seriously recommend that you check them out. There's links in the description for both the Lamy Safari and the Lamy Studio. This one perhaps is the type of thing to pop on your Christmas list and to keep safe. And this one is the one for actually being in your pencil case and using it at school. You may want to find the black ink insert because you do need black ink if you're going to be doing exams. I just want to do one more test with them both. Let's just do the smudge test. a lot <laughs> so you do need to be a little bit more careful when you're writing with a fountain pen but you probably need that stick around for more videos let me know in the comments which one you prefer the look of